Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new save file. We're going to jump in and let's unlock another tainted character today. So, is this Blue Baby? Tainted Blue Baby's interesting, Tainted Eve's interesting, Tainted Lazarus is scary. Tainted Eden is probably one I should go get. Let's let's do a tainted, let's try and get grab Tainted Eden, shall we? Eden is just a fun character to play as anyways. Um, and so, yeah, why the hell not? Uh, let's just jump in. Um, I just spent a, frankly, ridiculous amount of time re-seasoning my cast iron pan. Um, I didn't want to do it in the oven because I was scared, so I just did it on the hob. And it means it takes a lot longer because you have to basically, like, put some oil on. Ooh. Okay. Not the greatest start. Um... Taking damage spawns now. Nah. Is that even worth it? Um, see, now I'm, cu I'm curious as to what this button would do. It's quite the gamble. It's quite the gamble. But I'm actually going to... I'm, I'm going to find out. Okay. I was, I was thinking it was going to give us one of the other keys. I'm actually perfectly happy with the result here. Um, I just want to see... If I use Blood Rites here, is it Red Heart damage? Okay, it is. Good. Because it means we can activate Empty Vessel. Um, which I think is pretty awesome. So, not the greatest start, but the fact that we could uh, activate Empty Vessel there, it makes it a lot, lot better, I gotta say. It makes it a lot, lot better. Uh, Secret Room is very likely to be in between these rooms here. Uh, I'll crack this open. That was somehow significantly worse than the... Um... Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna test this out. That was somehow significantly worse than the regular chest that I tried to open. Also, intriguing prospects with this little fella around. Um, I like the idea of you, my good chum. Excuse me, I have a red heart available. Apparently, if it's a half heart, it doesn't count. I, I was assuming it would either take just the half heart, or it would take half a heart and half a black heart. Not... Just a black heart. I'm a little annoyed by that. I've got to admit. A little annoyed by that. That is big poo-poo stinkies. Um, but yeah, I just spent a really, really long time re-seasoning my pan. But I thoroughly enjoyed it. It was very worthwhile. My pan is doing a lot better than it was. Because um, it was it was just it was looking a little rough. It wasn't looking bad. It was still working perfectly fine. But pans... Especially cast irons need uh, need a little love, and I hadn't really been giving it enough love. And I love that thing as much as my unborn firstborn child, because it is my firstborn. I will name my firstborn child after that pen. That's how much I love it. Um, but yeah, so I was kind of like I'd, I'd not been like cleaning it as soon as I was done with it, and I'd not been like putting oil on it once I'd finished using it and so the seasoning was getting a little worse for work. Can you can you not be the way that you are please because you're really frustrating me. Like you're just stood in the worst spot. Okay, bombs. Yes. Ah, oh, gross. Gross. I can't believe you've done this game. Literally just use a ton of bombs on this guy because I just think he's the worst. <laughs> I'd rather just get him gone now. Okay, so I can grab this and then use this and then grab this. Okay. Cool. Pretty happy. Right. Okie dokie. Um, we have a few things that we can do here. First of all, check out the shop because we've got quite a bit of money. That's pretty good. Um, I think the first thing we do, though, is we come in here and we try and get this guy to pay out so we can get a reroll from him. Normally, I'd say I'd say 15 coins is normally enough to get one of these guys to pay out. That was pretty good. Okay, so now we can do some rerolling. We get ourselves the di uh, dice. Rerolls items into items from a random item pool with a random cost. Hmm, this is risky, but very interesting. I'm going to take it for now, because I can still reroll blood rights. Ooh. Red key. 
I'm going to take red key over the dice because it's just been a long time since I've had a red key run. Um, and then we get Fistful of Ash. Plus three bombs. Tinted Rocks have an odder visual. Breaking Tinted Rocks spawns half a heart and grants a fading damage up. More Tinted Rocks. Breaking Tinted Rocks also has a 50% chance to remove a broken heart. Gain a broken Eh. Not feeling it. Tool. Not feeling too... I I'm going to end up breaking the machine and getting something crap. I know it, but... At this moment in time, I'm I'm rolling in the deep here. I, I really want to wanna go for broke and try and get something really interesting. I'm sure I'm just going to break the machine and get something trash. I'm going to take that. We're going for a red key run. We're going for a full-on red key run. And it was all red key. Do, 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 do. Damn. Yeah. I I want all the red keyness that I can get. So that's what I'm going for. I feel like that was reasonably enough well played. <laughs> um, yeah, I rerolled past some good stuff there, I realise, but... I think at the end of the day, this is really cool. I would have loved to have grabbed 9 volt as well. I probably should have just tried to grab 9 volt as well. In fact, maybe I should try and grab 9 volt as well. I mean, this is second secret room, right? There you go. I am very, very glad that I took the time here. Also, what does this do again? I never really remember. 66% uh 6.6% chance to reward to be a battery 10% a chance um for random pickups to be a battery 5% chance okay this is really good yeah we'll take this also again accidentally picked up a red heart not very happy with that okay this has become an interesting run oh we also got a charge from that too hmm hey Oh, I'm feeling so good right now. I'm feeling so good right now. Feeling less good about losing my flight, but otherwise feeling so good right now. You also dropped me a soccer ball. And we get something that isn't that good, but we did get a Eternal Heart out of this, which I know I have, uh, what's it called, but at least I can Devil Deal this. I'm going to be taking this anyways. Do you know what? I'm kind of in love with this run right now. <laughs> I really am. This is kind of awesome. What else do we have to do here? So we could go Dark Path Mega Satan. Um, of course, we wouldn't be able to take a Devil Deal if we did that. Um, I'm, I'm definitely tempted by that just because I feel like a longer run um, with, with Red Key is just more fun um, than just going for a Tainted Character. Also, I just don't like the Tainted version of said character, so... That, that first floor was something quite special. If you get, to be fair, if you get that secret room, um, that's always, always going to be good stuff. Especially if you already have an active and you get an active straight off the bat that you want. So it means you get two rerolls worth. But yeah, I think having 9 volt here is going to really up the ante and then having this battery, uh... Battery, watch battery, whatever it's called, trinket, is also going to be pretty awesome. Um, I think we're going to be opening up a lot of red rooms here. Of course, initially I want to only be opening ones that are coming off of existing rooms. But once we start getting more charges and stuff, then we can start going a little further. we got a 33% chance of getting a red pillar each room as well. Now... I'm unsure if a red pillar can spawn in a red room, but if it can, we could we potentially have some crazy stuff going on there. Now, I will say as well, uh, the red chain, in the past, it's not been great. Like, it can be a little brood and not really give you that many uh, red rooms, or red pillars, should I say. But it's the chance that's there. I'm still happy to have the chance regardless. There's one right there. So now we can use the key to open that. And this will teleport us to a random unvisited red room. I think, I believe it's unvisited. Um, and we did indeed get to our item room without using a key, which is awesome. And get to our ultra secret room, which is 
even awesomer. Um, we get a Suicide King, we get a Moon card, we get a Plague of Decay. I'll take the Plague of Decay for, for now. Um, the Sucker Sack's pretty good. We'll go for more money here. Uh, we don't want the Suicide King. I will uh, take the Moon card. Come over here. This is a great run. Don't you dare steal my charges, you little fiends. Uh, we can pop... At this point, we can literally just... Oh my god, they can spawn in red rooms. Um, at this point, we can just use our thing... Oh my lord. Okay, we're going to need a lot of keys. A lot of keys. <laughs> I am not going to use a key on that. Our keys are too valuable right now. That's some good-ass trinkets right there. Some good-ass trinkets. But yeah, this is something real special. This this run's got some sauce. Got some sauce. And I don't know what I want, want to do as question of the day here, because I've left it a little late at this point. Um... Hmm. Hmm. What's a location you saw on TV or YouTube recently that you want to visit? Glass cannon that I can't even get. Ho oh, ho, that's such a tantalizing deal. One moment. Ah, one second, guys. One second. <clears throat> okay, I'm back. I'm going to have to make a few pauses here and there because I've just entered a, um... I wouldn't say debate, but, um... I'm chatting with my girlfriend and it's... It's gotten heated. Not between me and her, because that makes it sound sexual. It's definitely not that. Just, um, she's having some issues with something at work and I'm sort of... Really? Really, token? You're going to be there? Is that... The really what you're going to do now? Um... Do you know what, actually? Let's let's try and get a golden one of these. Bollocks. I gave it a go. I gave it a go. Duplicating your trinket. It's not obviously the best use of it, but it's decent. Um, go for another red room here. Hey, we got a tinted rock out of it. I like that. I like that muchly. See if we can get a few more of those black hearts. Baby, the black hearts are flowing. They are flowing fresh. I love it. Right. Let's keep on moving on. Keep on moving on. And be pretty happy with how this run's going so far. See, now, I really would like to go into my shop and purchase something. But I'm so sort of invested in having keys right now. Although, I suppose I can get keys from this. Also, I forgot that we've got this item that makes all of our blue flies do poison damage. And we have a bunch of rotten hearts. I was just going to say, let's go in here and see. Um... I will take school bag. Little annoyed to have used a key on that because I was hoping to buy one back or buy a sack or something. We'll just hope for the best. But yeah, our, our flies right now are going to be kind of cracked. They are going to be kind of cracked. Also, second secret room here, perhaps? Yes, they had no red door in it, so I was hoping for the best. Come on, Gabe, give me keys. I need keys. So many keys. <laughs> Just a ludicrous amount. An unhealthy amount of keys, please. Yeah, our flies are stacked right now. Absolutely stacked. Look at that. I literally two hit kill that guy. We get gold flakes. This is a lot of golden hearts, baby. This is a lot of golden hearts. And I'm going to go angel deal, actually. We did get a golden trinket. Oh, wait, no, this makes our trinket gold. Heck yes. I don't know if this will actually affect it, but I think it will. Either way, I'm not going to go devil here um, because I want to try and go mega certain. Um, I think that's more important to us. Let's go down to the next floor. And yeah, let's let's keep this, this trainer going. This is a really, really cool run that we've got going here. Um, I'm excited to play more of it. Also, don't like the prospects of the way this room is looking right now. Got to kind of like get in there. Red heart there. Wow, straight off the bat. That is what you like to see. Come on, keys. Damn it, game. I need far, far more keys than you're currently giving me. We get a bit of too spooky. Do not mind a too spooky. Um, 
There's another one of these bad boys. Oh god, you are you are a big man. Damn. I meant to say damn and just said damn. Damn. Come on, game. I will crack this one open, but I need to save my other key. I gotta save it for later, but yeah, look at how many, like, OP flies we have every room. It's pretty awesome. It's pretty awesome. Tell you what, I'm so glad I have two spooky in this situation, because this room would have been a whole lot more annoying had we not had two spooky there. Although, it has a crab in it, which makes it very annoying. Okay. Beautiful. We get free access to our shop, which unfortunately doesn't have much good for us here. Store whistle wouldn't be a bad idea, but unfortunately it also requires a key to open up the shop thing, which would, considering we already have a high need for keys, I don't think would be the best idea for us to take. We go over here, just one of you. I can deal, I can deal. Okie dokie. I think we've got an entrance into the secret room just below us as well. I always forget you don't got destroyed the psychic mushroom, fellas. Love having Herming so much. There's a secret room, right? Yes. Second secret room, actually. Doubles the number of bombs! How, How dare you? Good, good. Oh, you're not dead. Kim, <laughs> have we not got a single key drop? And there's so many pillars this floor as well. Ah, there you go. We got a key drop finally. Um, at this point, we just pop red runes wherever the hell we can. Another one. Oh my god. Just give me skeleton key. Give me a secret room that has skeleton key in it. Because that would be truly wonderful. Now, one thing I've, just, I've got to sort of remember... I'm getting more battery charges on room clears, which means that I could be getting less keys. So that's not the best. No, we've got another key. Let's open one more. So many goddamn red rooms, baby. There's another key. Okay, it's all coming together now. It's all coming together. The homing is just like the icing on the cake of this run. But yeah, this is going to be a very, 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 very red run. Not red rum, red run. Secret room here. There you go. I love the fact that red keys is like such a valuable tool for uh, finding extra secret rooms. I feel that's something that people often don't sort of think about with red key and cracked keys. It just gives you such an easy way of finding your secret rooms. Because you just look where for where the door outlines aren't. Another key there. Now, I just have to quickly test something here. Okay, no, sadly not. Wasted a bit of a charge here, it's fine. I'll see if I can maybe get into my secret room, into my uh, item room for free. Without use of a key, but it doesn't look like I can. A lot of red things going on, a lot of red things. We get a, a bed here, nice. Gives us a crawl space. Have we had a crawl space this floor already? No, we have not. Okay, we need both of these, don't we? We need to go on top of this and then bounce onto you. Why? I opened it and I immediately was like, wait a minute. What did I just say about spending keys? You fool. You, fool. you absolute fool. How could I make such a foolish mistake? Also... Can we just, like, look at the amount... Oh, that's a nice amount of keys right there. The amount of golden hearts that we have right now. Oh, ooh, secretion with Herming. Didn't think about the ultimate power of that bad boy. Secretion with Herming has got some sauce to it that I very much like. Extra bomb there. Pop that open, because why not? Good. Good. Our way through this way. Need to try and, uh... I was going to try and do our shop. Apparently we've been in our shop already. I just don't remember what was in it at all. 
Right, things are getting slightly confusing now. I don't know where we're actually meant to be going, because there's so much of the floor extra on top of where we're meant to be going. We got another one of these bad boys. The only thing about this is, I go through it, and it doesn't give me one to get back to where I was. So sometimes I can end up so much further away than I intended to be. We're just looking for special rooms and more of these towers. This is, this is pretty ludicrous. I'm really liking this. This run's pretty insane. It's boss time. Unfortunately, very, very evil boss that I'm very, very bad against. Because he does that. It's just mean. He fires shots when he does his swing. And he throws stones everywhere and it's just rude. My coins, boy. My coins. You get the hell out of here. Snake oil is fine, I guess. Right, to the next floor. <laughs> so many goddamn red rooms. This is beautiful. Truly something special. Don't know if having extra... Oh, for God's sake, that was so stupid of me. Having extra tier size here is really a benefit to us or not, but... I like the fact that it's also worked with secretion. Secretion is just very, very good. Bag lunch, no thank you. I was just about to say, a room with no combat, that's kind of a scam, but... The game was actually kind to me. And I said, all I want is the charge. All I want is the extra charge. That is a tainted treasure room. Unfortunately costing us two keys. So, my proposal for that is that we try and navigate around it. Which is slightly dicey. Um... If this is a secret room, that would be helpful. But I don't think it is. It is. Awesome. It's also a lot of red hearts. And some soul hearts too. We managed to navigate around it. No two key cost for us, baby. So. Each time an enemy fires a projectile, that has a one-fifth chance. That's interesting, but honestly, I, I couldn't I couldn't possibly take that. Herming right now is so damn good for us. I really like having Herming, sir. I'm not giving that away. Sorry, but at least I didn't spend two keys on that door. That makes me feel a little bit better about that whole shenanigan. Extra key. Mini battery. I realise that wasn't an optimal way to use that, but hey her. Extra key. Another charge. Free entry to the shop. Free entry to the rooms is is very, very powerful. Another key. Okay, the game is paying out handsomely. Also, what's up with that very terrible shops right now? Very terrible. We have ended up somewhere completely different. We're at the boss. I guess I should just do the boss. We got a good angel chance. Um, can I just pop this charge first so I actually get some value out of the charges? I've error room bollocks. Um, this is a fun run. I'm gonna I'm gonna get myself out of here. What the hell's the code for spawning the thing now? I don't remember. Somewhere in here. I know it's cheating, but shush. <laughs> Essentially, shush. This run is fun. I don't want to cut a floor short because I was an idiot and didn't check the, the map. And if we get anything this floor that's absolutely game-changingly good, then I guess I'm a big old cheater and you're going to have to deal with that. I always talk about it like people care. People don't care. I'd say the only time that that you should care about, especially someone playing a single-player game, cheating, 
is if they're trying to hide the fact that they're cheating. If they're being dishonest. Because, like, this is the whole thing that was, that was like, the issue with St. Victor, like, back in the day when he cheated his streak. The issue wasn't that he cheated. Literally no one cares that he cheated. Like, it's a single-player game. You do what the hell you want. No one's going to give a shit. It's the fact that he made out that his streak was legitimate and that he didn't cheat it to all his viewers. And even when confronted about cheating it, he denied it. That's the issue. Is this secret room? No, we already found secret room. Stupid. Um... Also, I, I tend to do very light cheating that just makes the video more fun for me. Like, you guys want to see the rest of this floor. I want to see the rest of this floor. It just is what it is. Didn't need your red button. I have so much money and all the shops are just crap. It's very sad. Good. More keys, baby. This is going to launch us miles away, isn't it? Okay, no, it didn't. We did find the ultra secret room as well, baby. Gotta love it. God damn, these stony boys. Got a lot of HP. We get the butterfly, which is pretty good. Although we already fire herming shots, so that aspect of it isn't as important for us. Bugger off you. Okay, all taken care of. Do our boss in. Get the hell out of here. Just let go of secretion a little bit too early then. Not this time, baby. Easy. See, we didn't even get our angel deal this floor, so it didn't really even matter. I guess we got the butterfly out of this floor, but that's kind of it. No! It fucking... The burn hearts filled my rotten hearts here. I wanted to keep them protected, but... I guess the game had other plans. Right, down we go. I guess the game had other plans. I, I was gonna say, I literally don't care if I get hit. I just wanna... I've lost two rotten hearts already. This is tragic. This is exactly what I, why I wanted my Rotten Hearts to stay behind cover. Oh no, I've not lost two yet. I've only lost one. But still, I've lost one. That's my point here. Shouldn't have even lost one. They were protected. My Burn Hearts. I wanted to fill with regular Red Hearts and it pushed my Rotten Hearts into them. Truly devious. I don't like passing through this room multiple times, but... I don't want to waste charges right now. What you die, you? Right, last time I'm coming through these rooms. No more, because these these fires... Normally they like have a little period when you enter the room where they can't shoot you. It's only once you've been there a little while, but I still... I don't trust them. I don't goddamn trust them. I definitely want to open these for the possibility of keys. And more charges as well. Obviously, the charges is a huge factor on top of the keys. Yeah, this is just kind of a, a crazy little run we're going on here. I've never really had this much influence over red rooms before. Lost another rotten heart. It's just tragic. It's just tragic. The Rotten Hearts were our lifeblood. And look, it backfilled my last remaining Rotten Heart into my goddamn, uh, into my goddamn Burn Heart. Didn't want that. Didn't ask for that. Don't do that. Is that an additional shop we got there? We've got a lot of money to play around with here, so I don't mind an additional shop. That right there is a golden key. That, if the game is nice to us, that could be very good. Um, allows you to use your activate without having enough charge, resulting in negative charge. That is 
good potentially. Like, if we think we're just one room away from getting getting the uh, super secret room. Uh, this room's a bit gross. Okay, luckily we didn't have to mess around with its shenanigans. The game gave me an out. Right. Open that up. Get into our item room for free. Always with the freebies for us. We want as many freebies as we can get. God's flesh, obviously not the best. But we have golden keys, so we can open this guy for free. Hell yes. We get a library. Unfortunately, this is a library that requires flight, which is slightly upsetting. Um, hmm... I don't know if that's better or worse. I think it's worse, right? I think it's worse. I will take this. I think... I think I'm worse off with that in my current state. I'll be honest, I'm not entirely sure. Hermit. Two keys, baby. Yeah, I think we're worse off with 4.5 volt here. I'm not entirely sure, I'll be honest. It might actually be more valuable and we'll get more charges that way. But it's just really hard to say because we're charging up off of um, off of our watch battery right now really nicely. So I don't really want to ruin that. Thanks, Godflesh, for being the best. Hey, we found it. We got him. Don't you spew stuff out at me, good lad. I'll have none of that in my company. Went for one last spew before, didn't you? We get BFF here, uh, which is not great, but decent enough. I think... I think this is bait. I think you wouldn't want to use data miner, but my, my my thinking is you want to blow these guys up. And if you blow them up, it uses data miner when it destroys the machine. That is my assumption of why that is created that way. Right, we do need a bit more damage. Our tiers look like very sizable, but our actual damage is kind of not great. It's, it's pretty darn good, but it's, it's like actual stat wise, it's not great. Could certainly be better. I lost all my goddamn rotten hearts. I'm so upset about the way that rotten hearts do that. I do not want you to backfill my goddamn burn hearts. Just stay in your lane. Stay where I put you. Okay, take these guys out. You're a little annoying, good sir. Mainly because of how goddamn long that animation takes to play out. Yeah, you can just see at the minute, like, things are just taking a very long time to kill. Which is very confusing because our tier size is so large. It just makes it all very confusing. Right. Crack this bad boy open. Hop away once again. See what's in here as well. Why not? I'm just, I'm opening up every red room I can. You know, you might get angel deals. You might get like, I don't know. There's all sorts of cool stuff you can get. Oh god, that was a good dodge. Just the, the problem at the minute is just the the navigation is just an issue. We're like so slow at moving around. I did it again. Did it a goddamn game. I am 
tempted by this, but... I think my trinket is just too good to let go. I don't want to take anything from the from the uh, error rooms I go into, really. I took some flies, but that's it. But yeah, the, the whole error room thing with red key, it's always very annoying to me, because I'm just so bad at spotting it. I want to have fun and be able to play the whole floor, not be cooked over by my bad eyesight. <laughs> Trying to get rid of all these flies before we go for our boss. Uh, our boss isn't as easy. Oh boy, bloody hell. Okay, here's our boss. God damn it, another one of these. The towers are nice to find, but it does mean I'm going to get thrown miles away again. Yeah, very, very far away. God damn it. Hey, treasure room. Speed upgrade's rather nice. I do like a bit of speed. Right. Let's mosey on down. Back the way we came. More keys. Keys are looking real good right now. Real good. Okay. Oh, we... Somehow got some rotten hearts. Oh, of course we got rotten hearts from my bad. I shouldn't have picked up the rotten hearts. I've cheated even more than I intended. Heck. Okay, you're kind of getting annoying. Oh, Lord. I've been hit a lot. Oh, dude, why does it keep splashing my bomb backwards? Don't do that. Okay, well, I lost most of the rotten hearts anyways, so... You can't feel too bad for me, because I, I lost most of them straight away. Some HP here. We got our angel deal. I, I don't know if that's going to be good for us. I think it is. Yeah, okay, that's good. Oh, I didn't goddamn smash the angel statue. My bad. Right, let's keep going. I'm just going to take a quick pause a minute. One second, once we've started this next floor. Right, I am back, and I'm back for good. Boy, this run is getting saucy. <laughs> One thing that I'm kind of loving right now is just taking a look over to, um... Let's open this up. I've got so many keys, I'm so happy. Ooh. Is this another error room? Exqueeze me, this is not a red room. This game is racist right now. I'm getting the hell out of here again. Where the hell did the card go? I can't fucking see where the card spawned. There it is, there it is, there it is. Get me out of here. What the hell? <laughs> That's pretty fucking rude. <laughs> oh my god, I feel like such a cheater, but I'm sticking with this because I want to actually have a fun run. I don't just want to be thrown into the error rooms constantly, and I feel like that one is specifically pretty BS. Like, it it literally says that it takes... Like, the item itself says that it takes you to a red room. That's not a red room game. It's not at all a red room, so don't be don't be giving me that sass. But yeah, I love looking over at our item tracker, item stats, just to see the immense amount of red items. What the hell's this? The Spirit of Anger. Um, damage up gives small damage ups each time certain events occur, including but not limited to a zero quality item, an active item that is equal or lower quality than your current one, slot machine, uh, current games or shell games does not pay out. Okay, there's a lot of shit that we can get damage for here. Seems good. Execute. I opened a red room here and I can't enter it. That is some BS. But I can get in here. Smooth stone's really good, we'll take that. Makes certain bosses very easy. Yeah, we're gonna be getting some, some damage here. This is a boss that I'm really not a fan of. I find him kind of difficult, but we got him pretty easily there. Mega battery. 
Hell yes. Should have just squished that guy, actually. I don't think he'd have spawned anything if I squished him. Right, so that actually generated a red room. We get the double charge here. Beautiful. Yeah, I just need to watch out for when it actually generates a red room or not and stop being such a goose. That one actually generated a red room as well. Things are definitely dying quicker now. Back that bad boy open. A few extra pennies here and there. Do you, know what, do you know what we need now? We need the red coin trinket. That would really elevate this a level. So let's not take me to an error room. Okay, this floor is just a bit broken. This floor is just a bit broken in terms of the pillars. Good to know I can't use any pillars this floor. It just sends you straight to an error room. That's just trolling, that is. Unfortunately, we had to actually just use the red key. How dare they make us do such a thing. But yeah, don't use any more pillars on this floor. Hopefully that doesn't continue to future floors. That would be slightly upsetting. It's so annoying though, because we've got quite a lot of pillars here. I don't know how I managed to uh, hit this ghosty guy and not wake him up there, but... I shall accept it. This is secret room, right? It is indeed. Oh, hello. We got the anger boy. Unfortunately, we are getting less uh, damage ups off of him. Um, because of our damage multiplier down, which is not great, but hey her. Crack in here. Another cash room. Okay, I'll just take the L on the uh, thingy there. We got two batteries. Holy Planetarium! Oh shit! Boulders will randomly fall into enemies. Ancient fragments will now have a 25% chance of replacing consumables. Ancient fragments buff boulders while nerfing your character. It's not great, but I'll take it. I mean... Is this a permanent thing? Okay, it might be a permanent thing, which in, in that case makes it a bit different. I thought it was something that just affected you, like, for a room. I've taken so much damage to spike dolls here. Also, I left a look penny in there. So much damage to spike dolls there, but it's fine. I think we're fine for that, thank you. So, yeah, we'll go for the falling stones here. It seems interesting. Oh. Are you okay? Okay, no, he's just doing a weird move. So much money. Holy hell. Oh my god, give me potential red roomage, please. I'm getting no places to spawn my red rooms. Come on. Game's being rude. I mean, we have already found the ultra secret room. We don't really have much else to, to look for here. Uh, we do have the item room to look for, though, which I still haven't seen. We'll so probably try and find that. Two big boys. That one died very quickly. I like that. So yeah, I guess we're going to be buffing up these stones quite a lot here. I like the idea of it though. It seems, seems like an interesting item, but... Not the best planetarium item, so to say. Taking a lot of unnecessary damage here. The room is over now. Good, good. No red rooms to speak of in here. Okay, there's one actually. And it leads into the secret room. Dude, this floor, I've lost so much health, it's kind of unbelievable. Crawl space? We're getting a lot of crawl spaces too. It's this one again. Um, I will do this again because I've got enough keys this time. Rotten Heart, yeah, yeah. Actually protected Rotten Heart now as well. Unlike the other devious times that's gotten rid of it for me. Right. Shop, what do you hold for me? You hold, um, that, and that, and I guess this, plus one golden heart again there. Open mind is a great trinket, but not for us right now. More keys, baby. 
Sadly, another pillar that is going to do nothing for us. Oh, I keep forgetting we have two spooky. People underrate the hell out of two spooky. I think it's so good. Literally, melee enemies can no longer deal damage to you unless you specifically run into them. Like, they can't run into you anymore. Like, how do people not like that? <laughs> I think that's amazing. Right, let's do our boss. Unfortunately, I was going to go Mega Satan here, but I don't think I'm going to get the opportunity because I've kind of fumbled it. Nice. We will take the negative. We'll at least do Dark Path. We'll at least do Dark Path. But yeah, it, chances of actually getting Angel now aren't super likely. Damn it, goddamn, walked right into that curse room by accident, not knowing it was a curse room. So, it's another bunch of HP lost, but no reason. That was a really, really dumb thing to do, actually. I should have sort of been more prepared for the fact that I can create curse rooms. <laughs> I was not at all prepared for it in this instance. Extra key. I'll open these up, why not? Yeah, that's what I was looking for. Uh, that's going to be fire it. No, it was range, damn. I don't know if my range was so low. Ah, for God's sake, I don't know if that was a whippy one. Okay, let's let's not die on this god tier run. We've got a lot of good stuff going on here. Let's not die. It's certainly looking like a potential ha like something that could happen here. Now that is very, very handy. So you're saying there's a chance game. Don't you dare give me a devil deal after this. Wait, what? Excuse me? I didn't know that the angels spawned in secret rooms didn't give key pieces feel a little betrayed. I'll be honest, a little betrayed. Go away from me, cash rooms. I guess I want to be carrying on this way, to be honest. Unfortunately, t spotting Tinted Rocks on this floor is basically impossible, so that's not really a way forward. There is a Silver Heart here, which I'd very much like to grab, but... I don't have the means to do so. Also, no places to open red rooms, really. We're doing fine. We're doing fine. We're not taking damage. We're getting through this. This is a real red room as well. Hey, and we got the ultra secret room. That's exactly what I was hoping for here. It's the D6. I mean, I guess we take the D6 here and use it to, unfortunately, get Yum Heart, which <laughs> wasn't what I was hoping for. But we can get some Soul Hearts from these red chests. I don't know why I used my own bombs when they had free bombs there right for me, but... I should try and get another charge, really, realistically. I do not like the idea of this room. In fact, I so don't like the idea of this room, I'm just going to free these guys, and I've already taken damage. Okay. Things are not going my way right now. Let's not do extra rooms this floor for the reroll. In fact, in fact, in fact, in fact, let's take Yumheart just in case. <laughs> Seems like a weird decision, but just in case. Oh shit, it's reworked Skolex. It's reworked Skolex, everybody. Skolex got a, f a huge, huge rework, and he's very, very different now. Um, we'll find out if we like him or not. I'll be honest, I don't fully understand what I'm meant to be shooting at. Do I still shoot at his tail? He seems to have taken no damage thus far. Hmm. Okay, this is, this is tough. Um... Why has he taken no damage yet? What's that about? Very confused thus far. 
This reworked Skolex, is it meant to be invincible? <laughs> um, hello? Anybody? I just lost a black heart and it dealt no damage. Um, I think Rework Skolex is broken. He's very cool, but I'm pretty sure he's broken. I'm fairly certain he should be taking damage. I'm going to have to do the uh, debug 10, is it? Yeah. And of course the game did, did this and rewarded me with a devil deal. Slightly annoying. Right. Down we go, I guess. Okay, yeah. Really cool rework of Skolex. I would maybe lower his health a tad bit. <laughs> Damn you, dude. I was kind of hoping to use the reroll machine here. These guys never pay out with items, but I will try my best. Dude, come on now. Oh, come on, these guys are so bad at paying out with items. Okay, there you go. Nugget bombs. Golden rope. No, thank you. Reflux. Um, reflux is pretty good. I'll take reflux. Basically... Once our tears have been in the air long enough, we can detonate them. They don't, they also, explosions don't deal damage to us, which is nice. Wow, that's quick. The pact is pretty lovely. There's a soul heart as well. Okay, things are starting to look a little bit better for me here. Starting to look a little bit better. Yeah, Reflux is kind of one of those weird ones where if you use it right, it's really good, but it's, it's kind of, it's not easy to use right. It's kind of like a slightly safer Ipecac. And the good thing is as well, it does lower your, it does half your fire rate, but you can just use the T as normally. You don't have to Lean into its gimmick. Holy shit, okay. I didn't think about how fucking insane this would be with reflux. Wow. Yeah, using, um... What the hell is it called? Secretion with this is kind of busted. Okay, the low shot speed is definitely an issue. Maybe shouldn't have taken this item, but I've committed to it now. It's happened. Yeah, the low shot speed is certainly making it not great. Got a dice room here as well. That is a five room. Unfortunately, don't really see any need for a five room here. Yeah, I, I think I think with the shot speed I have right now, this wasn't a great idea. Unfortunately. Like, I, I feel like that would have done great damage there if I'd have just had my normal items. Had my normal fire out, should I say. Okay, we finally got it. Yum heart, I will use. We did get an angel deal, but a little bit too late game. It's Lazarus's rags as well. Ugh. I mean, I guess we just do this for whatever's sake, I guess. Oh, God damn it. I've got no bombs left. Damn. I traded them all away. We go down. Down we go. I'm liking the spirit of anger item. Seems to be giving me uh, a lot of random damage ups. Wavy cap, you say? Don't think so, game. I think, I think this item has just added... Too much overhead to, like, attacking enemies. I've got to, like, now think carefully about when to release my shot and explode. I'm not particularly good at that. 
Right, at this point, I'm looking for red rooms or shortcuts, so... Okay, shot speed up is good. Okay, that was just a secret room. Oh, fuck. Like, I came out with some speed. Oh, dude! He brim-snapped me. Come on, now. Okay. With the situation we're in right now, I think we're just gonna leave. I don't know why I decided to stand in front of that, but I did. Okay. If you use it correctly with this, it's really good. I need to stop getting hit. Oh my lord. Okay, we got him. Took too much damage there. Also, stop offering me the Void Portal. You know I can't take that yet. Book of Secrets. Nice. Hmm. I don't really think there's anything here that works well for us. Okay, I'm hoping Yumheart just kind of carries us through here. Basically, you want to fire Secretion and then tap shot so that it randomly explodes as it travels. These are my findings. Okay. Like, look at that. that. That works so well. Oh, come on, you. Don't be like this. Thank you. That is pretty nice. That helps with the boss a lot. I'm not going to be red rooming all too much on this floor because I just don't see the point, really. It's just more hard rooms for me to deal with. There you go. Get hit on. Oh, dude. These enemies are... Not going well for me. Wow. Yeah, let's not red room on the floors that were already tough. Yumha was a very good pickup. I <laughs> gotta say. Oh, there you go. Look, if you do it right, it just kind of insta kills stuff, so it ain't bad. It really ain't bad. <laughs> okay, I've figured out the strat now. Now that I've got it down, it works pretty darn well. We also got a burn heart for blowing up one of these gravestones, which I don't mind at all. We also got spider bite from this guy and another burn heart. Oh, it really felt like we were going the right way here. Sadly, the game is not thinking the same way that I am. Damn. Really felt like I was going the right way there. I went so far in one direction. Another burn heart. Game. Are you alright? This is a lot of freebies. This is a lot of freebies that you're giving me right now. Not sure how concerned I should be. Kind of want to step on that guy there, but didn't quite get there in time. Okay, now this has to be the right way. All of them are filled as well. Beautiful. My god, yeah. This is such an interesting combo we've got going on. Just secretion all over the place. Secrete as much as you can and blow it all up. It has to be the right way, right? Yeah, you go. Oh, it's you, I see. The guy that hits me every single time. Haha! -ha. Not this time. Okay, you did hit me, but still. Well, that was... <laughs> that was pretty crazy. 
I'm not quite sure why it was a, a, a white one. I think that's from Spider Bite. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.